And that, what is the content of this first part? What is the scope of the course, of course? What is the course structure and content? The exam modalities, the learning resources. So both books, we, we have uh, two books for this course. And they are open access, so you can download for free. But I will say a few things. And we have um, other learning resources online and a few other info. So the scope of the course, so what are the intended learning outcomes? So what I promise to you, that at the end of the course, uh, you will be able to, to design what? Uh, you are able to design product service system, you will be able to design sustainable product service system. Means environmentally, socio-ethically, and sustainable product service system. Indeed, uh, when we speak about sustainable product service system, we include even the economical dimension. So they will be, we will be working on win-win uh, product service system. So they are beneficial even in economic terms. Okay, and even socio-ethical, so that they uh, are accessible even to uh, low and middle-income uh, context. And this, with a focus on uh, so-called distributed economy, it's a uh, production model. Uh, now I'm not going to, to tell, it will be said uh, in a while. Uh, but you may think, just to make an anticipation, I can produce energy through a big uh, power plant or through a solar panel that is on the top of my roof. Okay? That is a distributed production of energy instead of a centralized. We can produce energy, we can produce uh, managed water, we can produce products and other things. And we will learn why this could be sustainable. And why, and why the combination of the two models, sustainable product service system and distributed economy is even more interesting. This is the first. Then I promise that you will be able uh, to adapt this knowledge uh, and the skill uh, in relation to various uh, socioeconomic uh, contexts, uh, so whether you're working for company or you have your design studio and working for different company or an organization uh, of an uh, other kind of an organization uh, or non-governmental organization or citizen uh, association and etc. Uh, last but not least, you, you will be able to use uh, a set of tool to orientate the product service system design towards sustainable uh, solution. So we will focus on those tools. So I, you have been learning to use the system map, yes. You all know how to use the system map, yes? No? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Luckily, and the blueprint, maybe, and a few other things. Uh, we will learn uh, how to use other tools, okay, to address uh, the solution to a sustainable solution, and where to use it along a design process, which is important. So the core structure and content, uh, so we will have uh, five uh, frontal lectures, uh, like the one that uh, we are going to have uh, now. It's half a day, we have four hours, this is the time that we have, uh, but we will have break, and we will have the book club to stop, so to breathe a little bit <laughs> during the lecture. Um, and then we will have a design exercise, which is almost uh, uh, the double of uh, the frontal lecture. So you will be working in group. It's called Flip the Classroom, so that you will be, uh, through a design exercise, you will be going back uh, to the key knowledge that you have learned during the theoretical part. So to embed this knowledge uh, deeply into your, uh, into your, your wisdom, <laughs> into your capacity and skill, okay? And at the same time, you will learn how to use some tool during a design process. So it won't be uh, like in a lab that you design a concept to be a perfect PSS concept. This is not the purpose, but the purpose is to learn uh, other thing, how to use the tool and to learn some key concept through a design exercise, okay? So, uh, the learning subject of the, so the first part, uh, the lecture, and this will be today, sustainable development and design, so the reference framework, 
maybe you know everything about sustainable uh, sustainable development, but who knows? Who, who knows? Maybe <laughs> the, the the Romans say, okay. I know these things uh, because you, I will say you are not obliged to be here during the, the theoretical lecture, but you will be uh, obliged to be here during the design exercise. Uh, I will clarify this. But nevertheless, uh, I prefer to start by saying something about this and even to make an introduction on product life cycle design. So some person, the 16% of person that uh, uh, over 16 person, I can't remember, 16 person, uh, already know what is cycle design, so it's not necessary that they come here to, to listen at that course. They know, uh, uh, they know everything about it, or they want to have it, but for all of the other, it's necessary. If not, if not, they don't understand what we are going to say after. This will be 45 minutes lecture of a course that is uh, 52 hours of lecturing, okay, six credits. But it's a, a needed introduction. Then we will go uh, to discuss sustainable product service system, so this win-win offer model. Then sustainable distributed economy, the other one, as I said before. And then indeed how to design uh, sustainable product service system and distributed economy or their con combination. So what we call system design for sustainability. The last part of uh, the uh, frontal lecture will be related to the method and the tools that you will be using during uh, the design exercise. Clear? Yes. So this design exercise, the brief uh, uh, that we have been using even uh, other year. It's, uh, it's not a difficult brief uh, or it depends, uh, but the point is I want to have something close to here so that it's not that difficult for you to go to investigate or to do uh, uh, background research. This is not my aim. My aim is that given that uh, you uh, start to use some tool and you start to work with your mind in developing a promising uh, uh, solution in relation to PSS. So eating in uh, the Politecnico di uh, Bovisa, in the Politecnico di Milano Bovisa campus, uh, in a, environmentally, socioethically, and economically winning solution, uh, adopting both the uh, sustainable product service system and distributed economy of promoting. Um, so, bibliography and uh, other learning resources. So, there is this uh, first book here, okay? You can download it, uh, uh, you can buy, but you don't have to buy. <laughs> you can download it for, for free, okay? Uh, here is the address. You don't need to copy the address uh, because I will put uh, the slides uh, online. Uh, in, a, in a while, I will show you where, okay? And this is called Design Sustainable uh, Sustainability for All, the Design of Sustainable Product Service System Applied to Distributed Economy. And this is the result of uh, a EU research, an Erasmus Plus, involving 36 universities all around the world. I will say a few things about this in a while. The second one is this one, is System Design for Sustainability in Practice. So this is more related to the, let's say, know-how, the, the tools, example, guidelines, and this kind of things, all right? And even this, uh, you can uh, download, uh, it's open access, you, you can log, download uh, for free, and this is uh, the address. <coughs> Then there is, oh, I don't have it here. This is a, a third one. This is optional because this is on product design for environmental sustainability. So if you are interested, this is really not uh, the core of the course. Uh, there will be a written examination for those uh, students attending the course, I will say something. And the, the part related to uh, product life cycle design uh, it's enough that you listen to the course or you look at the slides, so there is definitely no need to 
to, to find this book. But if you are interested, there is uh, this book, Design for Environmental Sustainability. Uh, this is the only one that is not, uh, is, has a copyright, so it's not open access. So they brought in the first edition, it was in 1999, 98. Sorry. It's quite uh, an old version, so at that time they gave copyright, the copyright are there. Uh, you can find it uh, even in different language. It has been translated. If you buy it in Italian, it's 25 euros. If you buy the English uh, version by Springer, it's more than 200 euros. For, so for me, it's a hell. I hate this, I don't like, <laughs> uh, but it's, it is not me to decide this and I give the right uh, at the beginning, so this is there, but they are even in other languages. Said this, you can find both the Italian version and the English version uh, in digital form at the Polini library. So if you're interested, you can download the book, okay? both in Italian and, uh, and in English, but this is really optional. So I said, okay, there are the books, but what else we have? We have uh, uh, within the website uh, of uh, the research lab that I'm co uh, coordinating, the Lens Lab, there is the address. Uh, if you go in learning resources and you select courses, you will find a course which is System Design for Sustainability, that's solid 2024. Indeed, <laughs> should be quite easy. And you will find there the video uh, of the lecture, the slides, uh, and a self-test that you can use to test if you have to learn uh, the stuff that we have been teaching. So if you go, uh, if, you have, if, if you click on, on that course, you access to a YouTube page. Here you find the course title, the list of lectures. And then if you click over a lecture, for example, this is the course introduction you will access to the video and the video starts automatically. And then you can download and here, if you want to download, uh, because this is the only way in, um, at least in, uh, in YouTube, uh, there in the bottom left, uh, you can download the slides uh, and the set test, okay? Uh, what happened is, uh, be careful that now the, the entire course is there, okay? It's the course of the last year. So you will find in brackets 2023. Now I'm recording the lecture today. Give me the time, there are someone that is helping me in, in the lab. They will edit the course. They will put the new lecture on because there is something that is uh, updated. And so look at the new course. If you find 2023, you can listen to it if you are interested, but remember that is uh, the one of the last year, right? And why I'm saving this, you will learn uh, later, because I'm doing this not just for you as a student, as a support, but uh, for whoever is interested. This is open access for whoever, okay? Anyone want to download, to look at the video, either is a designer, a professor, uh, whoever, a student can do that. So I leave uh, the, the, the entire course of last year <laughs> Uh, since I don't have the new lecture to, to, be, to be online, okay? What else you can find there? You can find tools. So again, in learning resources, you click on tools. Uh, there are two typology of tools, system tool, system design for sustainability tools and product design for sustainability tools. We are working up to a system level. So you click on system design tools and you will find uh, a list of um, tools. You click on the tools. <laughs> we will cut this, for example, from the video, even though it's nice. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, so there is a tool presentation. And again, here you can uh, uh, click to download either the tool and a tool guide, OK? We have something else. We have guidelines and cases. So cases, promising cases of uh, sustainable energy product or product service system. So you select on those. Uh, can you let someone to get in? Thank you. 
Salma. No, condividi audio del computer. No. 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 Was asking something strange. So if you go there, for example, system design, uh, system environmental sustainability, these are guidelines, uh, strategies and guidelines of interest for us. So if you click there, you can see some uh, sub-strategies. And if you click on the sub-strategies, you access to a set of guidelines. And when you look, uh, and for not for all of the guidelines, for, but for the most of the guidelines, you have a card of an example that explain the guidelines and anyhow is a repository of uh, cases that may be of interest for you, okay? To sum up, uh, we have, uh, where we have uh, resources online. Of course, we have the resources not only on the Lens Lab, but even on uh, WeBeep, and you know how to assess WeBeep, so you have the uh, the lecture, the video, and the slides. So the um, lecture, I will put the lecture on the Lens Lab, but I will put on WeBeep the link to the lecture that is there. So you go on WeBeep, you click, and you see the same lecture. Okay, and you can download the slides and, and whatever, and the set test. You can see the syllabus, the calendar, and the, some if there are some communication, the bibliography. Uh, the rules for non-attending uh, uh, and attending student exam modalities. I'm going to say something right now. And some other information that will be useful for um, the design exercise. Okay, and of course, uh, as you know, we did, uh, uh, when you have a delivery at the end of the working day in the de design exercise, there will be a folder onto which you have to upload it. On the, on the Lens Lab, I already said, you have uh, the course section, the tool section, and the guideline and case section. Exam modalities. <clears throat> so here, they say every time, say it, uh, you have to be sharply clear. You cannot be sure that everything is, uh, is for sure taken correctly by every student. So you could be an attending student or a non-attending student, okay? You can decide at the end of this day, okay, I prefer to do it uh, as a non-attending or I stay here and do it as an attending or someone cannot be here because it's somewhere else doing, doing some Erasmus and so he can do or she can do only in that way. So attending student. So if you are an attending student, there will be a written exam so at the written exam, the support will be a lecture here, the video of the lecture that will be recorded, the, the slide and the text that are in the, the books that are in the bibliography, and it will count on 40% of the total mark. So we will leave the mark in 30, maximum 30 cum laude, okay? That will count on 40%. The other 60% is divided, uh, it's, it's coming from uh, the design exercise part. Okay, so how 30% uh, is how you are using correctly the uh, system design for sustainability tools, uh, not the tools in general, but the tools that support the development of sustainable PSS, uh, okay? And the other part will be related not to the quality of the concept in itself, because the timing is not enough to have a, uh, the perfect concept here, but how you have understood in the development of your concept the sustainability uh, issue and how you have uh, highlighted those uh, and how you have proposed those into your concept. So the sustainability quality of the concept. And this will be evaluated 30%. So tools 30%, the other 30%, 60 plus 40, 100%, okay? Everything in 100%, in, in 30 cum laude, maximum, and that is the mark. So it's a weighted average. It's, hard, it's clear, and you adapt, it's recorded, you can <laughs> listen to it if you want. And there is even online, it's written on uh, with it and whatever. 
uh, uh, even non-attending student can make an oral exam or have to make an oral exam when, and this counts like 40%, the oral exam is related to the theoretical part. So it's the same as uh, uh, the written examination. So the same uh, in the oral exam, uh, for example, I will not be asking you about the method and the tools because those will be evaluated during the design exercise, okay? If you are below the passing mark, you have to make uh, uh, an oral exam, okay? Below, you have to do it. The second, you're, you didn't succeed to, 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 to reach uh, <laughs> the class or something happened or you were hopefully not because the thing ill or something uh, or you have to do something else, uh, you can, you, you will make, uh, you will be asked to make the oral examination, all right? Or uh, you pass the exam, but you are not uh, satisfied by the mark. It's 30, you want to have 30 cum laude, okay, do an oral examination at your risk. You may go even lower <laughs> because, you know, with the oral examination, <laughs> it's easier for me to understand the, like, the quality of it. Usually this is not happening. There are students asking to increase. This is happening, but when they do, they prepare themselves to be better. Than, uh, okay, is this clear? Yes, please. No, the exam will be. Uh, there is a return of voice, I don't know why. Very I have to do, I don't know. Whether it's coming to there. Okay. Uh, now, the exam will be made in presence. We will use, uh, because I hear even my boss coming from here, it's a bit disturbing. After this presentation, I will check it out. I, I will give you a break and I will check it out. No, because we will, we will go in computer class, we will use forms, so you have to be there uh, in presence to make uh, the written examination, okay? So if you are somewhere else, you will make an oral examination. That's it, it's simply, okay? No problem, it's, uh, I will make the same question. Maybe someone don't like to make oral examination. There are few that prefer oral, oral examination. This is so. Uh, I'm not a bad professor. I'm not a uh, so, not a scary person. Okay, clear because maybe you will be anyway. Okay, hopefully. <laughs> For all the rest is clear. Yes, I can go on. Okay, during the design exercise, so you are requested to be here. Okay, so attendance is requested. Uh, if you if you cannot come one time, it's fine. And if you and if you are not able to come in a, in a day in which uh, we have been using a key tool, uh, I will make a very short examination on that tool. So if you are if you you explain me how to use that tool. Uh, or uh, sustainability and so on, but it would be like uh, two to five minutes examination, okay? It's not really an long exam. During the lecture, you're not obliged to be here, okay? You want to be here, uh, okay? Uh, or you prefer to study on the book, uh, you prefer to study on the slide, on the recorded, that, that is up to you, okay? Usually people can, but it's up, uh, it's up to you. All right. So I'm, I'm not taking the present today. I'm not taking any uh, any presents. Uh, when we will start the design exercise, yes. Non attending student. So if you decide or if you cannot be an attending student, you have to make a written report. There is a format on Webit. You download it. Uh, on a case study of uh, a product service system or a distributed economy that is sustainable, you have to make it, find it, whatever you want, 
and uh, describe it in a proper way. And that there will be, of course, an oral exam. In this case, the oral exam will include both uh, the first theoretical part, uh, but even the methodology and the tools. So I will ask the, the non-attending student to show me that they are able to use the tool. So maybe I will open the tool, they show me the tool and how to use it and so, okay? Fat clear, any doubt? I've asked the third time, it's recorded, so should not be broken, okay. <clears throat> On the written exam, uh, for those attending, there will be multiple choice and open question about the content covered during the lecture, as I said, excluding the method and the tools. Uh, the date uh, is, uh, maybe this you can uh, put it on your agenda, November 15th, and it will be one hour uh, exam. Uh, and we will start uh, in the morning. It won't be here, it will, we will have a computer classroom because we need to use uh, uh, forms and you will use uh, the computer of the class, okay? We will be making uh, uh, a training for the written exam, exam using Book Lab, uh, uh, a full morning that will be uh, October 25th. So we will go, uh, it will be two or three weeks before the exam, through all not the, the main topics uh, that we cover all along the course, okay? I think